Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures, and today is Friday. I just dropped my son off at school, and now I am free to go do whatever I want, and I'm going to go see if there are some yard sales. Oh my gosh, I just noticed another community yard sale in front of my son's school. Okay, tomorrow is going to be very busy. So there is a community, two community garage sales like on either side of my neighborhood, so I'm going to be up probably about six o'clock in the morning and out the door by 6.30. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of driving around and see what I can't find today as well. Okay, so I just left an estate sale. I actually went by this estate sale yesterday and the lady had like um, five real gold rings out there, but she hadn't priced them yet because she said she had to weigh them and um, get a little bit more information on them. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just come back tomorrow. So I came back today and God love her. She hadn't priced any of that jewelry. She didn't weigh it or nothing. And so um, I, I knew I probably shouldn't have gone back, but I went back just thinking maybe I might get a good deal. So um, she meandered around for quite a while trying to figure out the price of this 10 carat, uh, real pretty topaz gold ring that I wanted. And then she came back finally after a long time and she said would you do a hundred on it and I said oh I'm just gonna have to think about that can I get back with you so um, yeah that's a little bit more than what I wanted to spend and when I looked up the price of gold for 10 carat it was only going for like for the grams that I put in it said fair market value was like $67 so um, I felt like maybe I was getting a little dip there so I just told her that I would have to think about it and maybe come back later. <laughs> I'm not going to go back. So um, I'll have to see if I can find some more cells. Okay, so I wasn't finding a ton of garage sales, so I decided to go ahead and come to the trusty Goodwill. And um, I picked up a few things, so I got another jewelry jar. Um, this looks like it really has a lot of gold in it. I'm super excited. I paid $14.99 for this one. And um, like I said, I bought it because I saw a lot of the gold. And um, not only that, but I've just been finding some really good stuff in the jars lately. Um, as a matter of fact, Yesterday, oh my gosh, I spent almost a hundred dollars. I bought three jars. They were priced at $29.99 each. Now, and I took them home and I put them with all my other jewelry jars that I haven't opened because I'm a jewelry jar hoarder. <laughs> um, but I, well, okay, side note, it takes a long time to go through a jar to look at everything and to see if it sticks and to determine, you know, if it's real gold, is it real silver? Um, it takes me a good hour or more to go through a whole jar. Um, especially if it's a real big one. So anyway, um, I came home, sorry, I'm getting text. I came home and I set the jars, you know, right with all my other ones, had no intentions of opening a jar. It was already late. It was like 930 at night and I was pushing them all together and one of the jars broke because <laughs> I guess those, those glass faces are just like paper thin. They're not um, very thick at all. So I was pushing them together. One of them broke and I thought, oh my God. Well, so then I had to go through it like right then and there because, you know, I just had to. <laughs> And so already, I'm so excited. I found three pieces of James Avery. So I found um, a real pretty uh, sterling silver butterfly bracelet. And then I found just a, um, just a plain silver, like a little bangle. And um, I found one of those, and I'm gonna chop this word because I don't even know how to say it, but is it, it's Clada, Clada, something like that, ring. And so I'm um, pretty sure that one's sterling too. It's really tarnished, really, really bad. So I think I might clean that up and um, sell that. It looks like it's so small it could probably just uh, fit my pinky finger. So I'm really excited about those jars. I'm going to make a video about it and I would like to do it live but I can't because it, you know it's opening jars over you know a period of a, a week or so on different days so I can't really do it live. But as I open the jars um, I want to show you guys everything that I'm getting inside of them. So um, oh and in that same jar I found a real 14 karat gold uh, diamond stud earring and I know this is sad but I've never owned any real like really 14 karat gold diamond studs but apparently the back is like a, a it screws on 
And so um, I thought that was interesting when I first picked it up. And then I realized what I had and I was frantically searching for the other one because if I find the matching one in any of the other two jars that I haven't opened yet, because I, like I said, I bought them at the same time, there's a chance that other earring could possibly be in there. I'm totally going to keep those studs for myself, right? Because I don't have any real diamond studs or gold, 14 karat gold studs. So um, I'll definitely be keeping those for myself if I find the missing one. I meant the, yeah, the missing one, the matching one for it. And if I don't find it, I'll probably just scrap it and take it to the um, the jewelry guy down the street because I'm sure that the diamond, I mean, it's a 14 karat gold setting. I'm sure that the um, diamonds and the, the diamonds all around it are real. So I'm excited about that. And that's just in one jar. So I feel confident that I can make my money back already on just that one jar. Um, it's just a matter of actually taking the pictures and getting it listed, okay? Too much sourcing and not enough listing as always from me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a little bit more driving around, see if I see anything else. And what's probably going to happen is I'm going to tack on tomorrow's garage sale ride alongs too. So this would be a uh, Friday slash Saturday garage sale ride along. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Duh. <laughs> I got so excited about the jewelry jars. I forgot to tell you about the other stuff I bought inside there. Okay, so... Um, I did pick up a couple of coffee mugs. I picked up this um, tall 12 ounces Starbucks coffee mug. It was 49 cents. Probably keep this for myself. And then I picked up two of these. I gotta turn the air on, it's getting hot in here. Picked up two of these uh, Ralph Lauren polo mugs. They were 49 cents each. There's the bottom that says Ralph Lauren. And I'm um, probably gonna pick these up for $20 for both of them. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I did buy a gold chain. Um, now this is 14 karat gold and it was only $7.99. $7.99 for a 14 karat gold chain? Yes, please. Thank you. I'll probably keep this for myself. Um, oh, I just noticed it has a heart on it. Look at the little heart. I didn't notice that before. It's so pretty. Um, I'll have to see how this looks on me. If it's too small, I might just um, give it to my daughter. So I'm super excited about that for $7.99. You can't beat that. Okay, so that's all I got there. So onward to go. Okay, so also real quick, I just wanted to say you guys might have noticed I haven't been picking up a ton of books lately. And I just want you to let, let you know that that is not intentional. I feel like something's going on with the Goodwills here in Houston because I'm not finding near the amount of books that I used to find. It's just, it's just really sparse and I feel like they're selling books online themselves because it seems like I remember seeing um, on Amazon Goodwill-Houston um, not too long ago whenever I was pricing something and seeing what the cost was or something or another and um, that got my brain to thinking, well, maybe they're pulling all these books and they're selling them online now. So I know that they do that in several other states. So now I think um, they're doing it here in Houston, Texas too. So I don't know, you know, the books that I used to sell are mainly come from Goodwill. I mean, I find more books at Goodwill than I do garage sales. So, uh, but that's just not been the case. So if you see me getting more heavily into jewelry, that is the reason why. Um, not only that, but with the jewelry, it's, it's small, it's easy to store and, um, you know, it's easy to take pictures of and it's, um, it's a good profit return most of the time for something, um, excuse me, so little and it doesn't cost as much, right? So, um, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you if you're wondering why I haven't been talking about books a ton, that's why. Okay, so while I'm driving around, I thought I would invite you guys to come join my Facebook reseller group. It's called Third Coast Resellers and Beyond. And this uh, group is for resellers all around the world. I always forget to mention it or uh, plug it whenever I do my videos. So I just wanted to remind everybody to come join us over at Third Coast Resellers and Beyond. Looky, looky, looky. Okay, just like the garage sale, I spent $4. I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. 
I got this really cute uh, pink and green Ralph Lauren polo bag and uh, let's see what else I got. I got this real pretty little uh, three month old baby Carter's dress. It's brand new with tags and I got one more. This one's by uh, Cafe Press. Super cute. It's brand new as well. My cousin and um, his wife just had a baby girl and so whenever I find brand new stuff with the tags I'll you know get a pile of it together and I'm um, hoping to send that to them and then I got for a dollar I got these three little glass mini bowls I like these like I have to take a lot of pills in the morning um, I've had a liver transplant so uh, yeah I like to use these put these in the drawer with my medicine so I can keep my pills together and also for my kids too they take vitamins like my daughter takes the multivitamins, she takes some fiber gummies too, so in the morning I can just put her little vitamins in these little bowls, in one of these little bowls, and um, she can take those. So yay, four bucks, what a deal. Okay guys, just left another sale. This last sale I went to, I spent $3.25. I picked up this Laura Ashley uh, little perfumed soap, triple milled soap bar. And it was 25 cents. Of course, it's um, brand new in there. And I'm probably going to keep this for myself. Um, I love the fancy soaps. Um, of course, unless it's worth some money. And in which case, I will gladly sell it. <laughs> but then I picked this up just because it was 75 cents. I thought it was neat looking. If it's not worth anything on eBay, I'll put it in my antique booth. But um, I'm guessing it's like a camera by Calamar. All weather camera. Focus free. Um, and then it has this neat little uh, compass here on the strap. I thought that was interesting. So, you know, for 75 cents, I thought I'd take a chance. Now, I didn't take the time, and I usually won't take the time to look anything up at a garage sale um, if it's cheap enough. You know, I'm usually in a hurry, um, excited to hurry up and get to the next sale. So, if it's cheap enough, I'm just going to buy it. And that brings me to these rings here. They have a little bit of jewelry there. These two rings were in a bag for $2. The reason I just went ahead and picked them up without uh, getting out my magnifying glass or anything is because I did see something on one of them. And it's this real pretty gold and, let's see, gold and silver toned one right here. Unfortunately, upon closer inspection, it says PD, which stands for Premier Designs. But on the bright side, it does fit my fat little finger. I wear like a size 8 to a 9. Um, and so I will probably be keeping this one for me. Yay! Um, love those two-tone colors. And the other one I got, I also picked this one up. I felt like it kind of looked real. It's a um, little gold ring and it has like some enameling on it as well with some flowers. First I thought they were butterflies, but I think they're flowers. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe the antique booth. Oopsie, on the horn. <laughs> but I didn't see any markings on it. Uh, I might look a little bit closer whenever I get home. But it almost looked like copper. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that very good. It almost looked like a copper. The sun's in the way. So, yeah. Um, so now I am off to the next cell. It's getting to be about 10.45. Probably going to wrap this up pretty quick here. I've got a ton to do uh, when I get home to list and everything. So, um, let's see if I find anything else. Okay, I am done with garage selling today. It's about 11 o'clock, so I just stopped by Mr. Sombrero's. It's a Mexican food restaurant. Mexican food is my absolute favorite, and this little restaurant is like a mile down from my house, and they have the best food. I just love it. And so my favorite thing to get there is the chicken tortilla soup. So I got me some of that. I'm going to go home and eat that yummy goodness. So. I think I'm just going to go ahead and stop this video with Friday because it's gotten to be a little bit lengthy. <laughs> so um, I'll try and get this one uploaded sometime tomorrow. And then tomorrow morning, Saturday, I'll do my garage sale ride along for all the community sales. And hopefully I'll get that one up by uh, Sunday. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.